How do you reach CEOs and managing directors of big companies? Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person, Tom. Keep up the great work. I promised to make this video. I said that if we reach a thousand subscribers, I would make this video. And I'm eating my own words now because actually I don't really want to share this secret, you know, because this secret is actually too good. Uh, very few people know how to do it. And it's good that, you know, it stays that way. I don't want everybody know the secret on how to reach CEOs uh, in big companies because then you know all those CEOs and managing directors would like get all these phone calls from you right and I know that more people will be able to reach me because they know the secret on how to get through reception how to get through customer service to reach the key decision maker but I promised so I will share this information with you you're a salesperson you're selling a product and services. You want to talk to key decision makers. You do not want to sell to the receptionist. You do not want to sell to customer service because they don't give a shit. You know, they're not even going to pass your information to the managing director. They're not going to pass the information to the CEO. It never happens. What they will say is, give me more information. Send me more information. Send me more information by email. Send me more information by yellow. And guess what? You send the information, nothing happens. They don't even pass the information to the key decision makers because they don't have to do it. Nobody knows about it. Why should they do it? Most people don't do it because most people are shit, right? And you know, if they actually send the information to the CEO, to the managing director, maybe they won't be happy. And most people are scared. Most people are motivated by fear. So the receptionists, the CS people, they don't want to do it because if they, if, if they do it, they think they're going to get in trouble, so they don't do it. As a salesperson, ever send them information or you know, send them information by yellow, right? What happens when you reach the reception and when you reach customer service, your key action there is to find the key decision maker. That's it. You don't sell anything to reception. You don't sell anything to customer service. Your goal is to reach the key decision maker, right? That's either a CEO or a managing director or maybe director of department heads like director of marketing, director of sales, uh, director of engineering, right? You want to reach people that are important in the company that have, you know, influence on the decision. I have been doing sales for a very long time, 20, 30 years on and off, right? I close big deals. I, I never talk to like reception. I never like, I would never do my sales pitch or presentation with receptionists because that's just fucking wasting my time, right? I always get through to the key decision maker. And you know, I see that a lot of salespeople have trouble with this. They don't know how to do it. They cannot get to the most important person in the company. And, but the trick is actually a very simple one. I use this trick. I can talk to any CEO, any managing director, anyone I want. It's so simple. And today, sadly, for me, I have to teach you because I promised. I regret that very much. I really don't want to teach you this trick because I know it's so effective. But here it is, all right? Uh, when you talk to the receptionist, when you talk to the customer service, first thing, you must know the person that you want to reach, right? You do not call into a company blind, meaning that uh, you call a company, you don't know who the managing director is. Uh, may I speak to the managing director? They won't connect you. CS receptionists, they do not connect you, right? Because they don't give a shit, right? And they know that you're a salesperson. If they connect the salesperson with the CEO, maybe CS or receptionist will get in trouble. So they don't want to do it, right? That will never work, all right? They never connect you on that basis. They never connect you because you say you want to talk to the CEO, right? So do a little bit of fucking research before you call the company. Find out who the owner is, who the director is, who the CEO is. There are directories online. There are business registration websites online that you can look up. 
You can look at, you can Google, you can find out the company is owned by this person, this is the representative. They even have fucking phone numbers in those directories, right? And then so you know, you can find out, okay, the managing director of this company is Tom, all right? So now you know the name, but you don't have the phone number of email of Tom, right? So you must go through reception, you call the company switchboard, the company phone line. Hello, I would like to speak to Tom. This is a very urgent matter. I will start with that. This is a very urgent matter. And of course, the CS and receptionist, they'll be like, what is this about? I cannot transfer you until I know what it is. They always say that. And of course, your response is that this is about a joint partnership with your company. And unfortunately, I cannot discuss this with you because it's confidential information. Right? You say it like that. And then at this point, the receptionist and, or the customer service, uh, they'll be like, they'll be nervous. They'll, they'll be like, I don't know what to do. Should I transfer? Should I not transfer? Should I transfer? Should I not transfer? Guaranteed. And it's very important how you say it. If you call in and you say, uh, I, I, I want to speak with Tom because uh, there's an important decision I need to talk to him about, they don't believe you. All right, so you have to say it with the right tonality. Say it with the right voice, all right? Connect me with Tom Peng right now. I need to talk to him about a important joint venture partnership. It's urgent. Say it with the right voice. And then when you do it, the receptionist will be more scared than you. Most people, most salespeople are scared to say that. But when you say it, the receptionist is even more scared than you because they don't know what to do. Right? They're like, should I transfer? Should I not transfer? If I don't transfer, maybe I'll get into trouble. But if I transfer, maybe I get in trouble. Which trouble would I get into more? And they start evaluating that in their head. And you push them more. Like, I need to talk to them urgently. Right? You push, push, push. And then more often than not, they will make the transfer. And, you know, I know this trick. I use this trick to. Uh, get to any company decision makers easily, no problem. But I say it with a very strong tone. I say it with all seriousness. In my own company, you know, I am the managing director CEO. And in the last four years, only two salespeople from outside can reach me. And they use the same trick on my receptionist, on my CS. So it's kind of funny because, you know, uh, one of the CS girl will run to my office and say, Tom, 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 there's a guy that I need to talk to you. It's really, really important. I'm like, what? And then I pick up. It's a sales call. They want to sell me something, right? So they know this trick and very few people know this trick. If you master this trick, you can really literally talk to anybody you want. So use it. Take fucking action and make lots of money so you will stop being a fucktard. Remember to talk to key decision makers.